Now, you also heard in that recording an idea that we began to discuss last night of your time. And this is the idea of what the job of your physical personality mind actually is and what it isn't. Many of you have been taught to believe that your physical mind is in charge, that it's supposed to control everything and figure out how everything is supposed to happen in order for everything to work. But you heard in the recording, and you heard us say last night of your time, that this is not your job description. Your physical mind is not designed to understand how things happen. It is only designed to perceive how things happen. It is not designed to perceive how things will happen. It is only designed to perceive how things happened. The higher self, that level just above physical reality that is also part of your personal being, is the level of your being that has the ability to understand how things happen. And that's why you heard us say and the secret say, you don't have to worry, you don't have to focus on how something will come about. There is no way for you to know. It's not within the capacity of your physical mind to know that. It's only within the capacity of your physical mind to see how it did occur, but not how it will occur. The knowledge of how it will occur comes from your higher self, not from your physical mind. As we said last night of your time, again, pay attention, very crucial. The higher self conceives. The physical brain receives. The physical personality mind perceives. Physical personality mind does not conceive of anything. The physical mind is not capable of generating an idea. Not one. Not one. Any idea you have ever had has never come from your physical mind. Not one. It can only perceive the result of the idea that was received by the brain from the conception of the higher self. Beginning to understand this relationship will allow you to begin to have a better relationship and an open line of communication with the higher self and will allow you as physical minds to allow the you that is the higher self to do its job while the physical mind goes about doing the job it was designed to do, which is to simply focus you in physical reality so that you can perceive and experience the result of what you conceived from the higher self to be representative of your natural truth and joy. So, this knowledge and this understanding and this relationship can allow you to relax and not feel like you have to do so much. It's not your responsibility in that sense as a physical mind to generate these things and figure out how it's all going to happen. As we said last night of your time, we recognize that the physical mind, if it is taught to think it's in charge, can get caught up in the idea of attempting to repeat how something did occur, thinking that what it is perceiving is actually how the next thing needs to occur, when in fact it's not. The idea of attempting to do that will only cause a repetitive cycle, a repetitive loop, that will simply allow you to remain stuck in one particular manifestational level and it won't advance until you allow yourself to make the leap and let go of how you think it needs to happen and let the higher self show you how it can happen and then let your physical mind simply receive, perceive how it did happen. So you don't need to carry those bags. You don't need to carry that luggage. It's too heavy. You weren't designed to carry it. If you keep carrying it, you will be exhausted very quickly. 
you will start dragging. You will say, life is a drag. This doesn't work. I'm not having any fun. Why not? Because you're doing too many jobs. You're not doing the job you were designed to do only. You're also attempting to do the job of the higher self. The higher self is the you that is on the mountaintop that has the big picture, that has the far view, that can look down at the physical mind in the valley and say, the road is this way. I'm telling you, turn left. I know you think you're supposed to turn right because you think you're in charge, but I'm telling you, turn left. Pay attention. Pay attention. Pay attention. You don't have to know how turning left is going to get you to where you want to go. I can see that it is because I'm on the mountaintop. You don't need to know. All you need to do is what? Trust me that I'm telling you the truth. Why would I do anything different? I'm you. When you understand that your higher self is truly an aspect of you, maybe you will be willing to start listening. Instead of thinking, because your physical mind has been taught to think it's in charge and thus doesn't trust anyone else's two cents, instead of thinking that your higher self is trying to deceive you, trying to trick you, can't listen to that guy, that gal, what does he know, what does she know about being down here in the valley? A lot. Because you are also it. And it is also you. What we are simply saying is, this is the complete person. Higher self, receiver brain, physical mind, this is the complete persona. And when you compartmentalize yourself, you are not functioning, literally not functioning, as a complete person. You are shunting responsibility and the load of the job to only one portion of your personality, only one portion of your persona, the physical mind, and expecting it to take up the slack, which it is not designed to do. You're putting too much weight on it, too much emphasis on it, and it's going to wear the physical you down to the point where it won't matter what the higher self says about taking this road or that road, you'll just be too exhausted to move. Just can't do it, sorry. The idea is, is that when you allow yourself to let the higher self pick up that slack by doing the job it was designed to do, your load will be lightened, you will be energized, you will be enlightened. You will feel freer. You will feel like you have more energy than you ever imagined possible. You will be able to move in the direction the higher self is suggesting because you will then not be weighed down by things that you don't have any business carrying with you. And it will make you feel free. And you can run down the road. And that means as soon as you give up the job that isn't yours, things will accelerate. If you think you need to lug all this luggage down the road, it's going to be slow going. When you drop what isn't yours, things will speed up because now you're not carrying extra weight. Things will accelerate. The paradox here is that because the physical mind has been taught to think it's in charge and has to figure out how everything is going to happen, it actually slows things down, even in the face of wanting things to speed up. It's doing exactly the opposite of what it actually really wants to have happen by taking on too much weight. So by letting that go and allowing yourself to function as the whole being and trusting the how to the higher self and not thinking about it, not worrying about it in the physical mind as to how you're going to get where you know you want to be, then you will allow there to be balance on all levels of your being Things will flow in that positive direction representative of your natural self because you will be behaving as your true, interconnected, holistic, natural self. This, when people talk about the idea of letting go, when they talk about the idea of surrender, this is what they're talking about. Simply surrender to being who you actually are instead of who you've been taught to think you're supposed to be. 
This is what you are now realizing in this new age of transformation on your planet. That you're not alone. That the compartmentalized you that you heretofore thought was the totality of your being is in fact nothing but a small piece and that you actually have other portions of yourself that you could be using, that you could be allowing to carry some of the load with you, but which you have refused to believe can happen because of the way your personality mind, your physical mind has been taught to think about what it's supposed to do, about what its responsibilities actually are. And thus then, once the physical mind has taken on this much weight, has taken on this much more job than it was designed to do and it feels tired and it feels stressed and it feels weighed down what's the next step after that victimization resentment it starts dissolving and devolving and breaking down because it cannot carry the load and once it starts breaking down thinking this is supposed to be working and it's not, it now feels betrayal from the universe. The universe isn't supporting me, it's not working for me. No, you're not working for you. You're not working for you because you're working too hard for you. Lighten up on yourself. The universe does not expect you to have to struggle. It does not expect you to have to, in any way, shape, or form, suffer. Challenges, yes, but those are exciting. Activity, yes, but that's exciting. Struggle, suffer, no. There is no expectation on behalf of the universe that you should have to struggle and suffer to be yourself. All the struggling, all the suffering, all the doubt, all the fear comes from the misunderstanding of who you are and thus resisting your natural self because you're afraid to give up that control from the physical mind to the greater self for which it was designed. And when you thus then don't do that and take it all on yourself and start slogging down the road very heavy under the burden of things you have no business carrying, comes the victimization, the sense of fear, the sense of betrayal, the sense of being alone, the sense of being cut off, the sense of being disconnected, the resentment, the hate, self-loathing, lack of deservability, all these issues stem from not allowing your full self to carry the load. All of them. Bless you.